Right after spring break, some of the district's youngest students will be back in these halls with their backpacks, seeing their friends, of course, six feet away. This is all part of the district's plan to bring back 60% of its students for in person learning four days a week in just a couple of weeks. The district is laying out safety measures in this four page letter to students, parents and staff. It includes rapid testing 20% of students and staff weekly using plastic barriers between desks and keeping windows open. Yonkers Superintendent of Schools Dr. Edwin Quezada says these next few weeks are critical for each student's future. We are an institution that is focused on educating children and there's no such thing about educating children when they are not in school. What is the plan? But not everyone is happy with how the district is going about it. Members of the Yonkers Federation of Teachers, which represents 3,000 district educators, rallied outside Lincoln High School to demand a greater voice in district reopening discussions. They feel in the dark when it comes to these decisions. We're not asking to rewrite the plan. We're asking it to be displayed in a way that is comprehensible to the public and to our teachers. We decide. Union President Samantha Rosado Siriello acknowledges the district has met some of the safety demands in the last week, including voluntary testing and clarity on desk spacing, adding more needs to be done, like making the testing data publicly available and granting medical accommodations for teachers at a higher risk of catching COVID before they feel safe in school again. Now, while these teachers say over the next couple of weeks, they will continue to fight for a greater say in the decisions that not only impact the students, and the families, but themselves as well. They do promise that they will not do anything to slow down this reopening. They will support those students. They reiterate they want to see the students back in the classroom. They just want to see it done safely. So what is next? Well, the, uh, they expect that they're going to see a doubling of students learning in person, going from about 8,000 a day to 16,000 a day district wide. Now, the plan right now is to bring in the students who are already doing the hybrid learning. They'll be the first ones to go if they opt in to the four days a week. And of course, this all rolls out in just under three weeks. April 12th is when they expect to have everything launched and ready to go. We're in Yonkers, Jonathan Gordon, News 12.